going to demonstrate two YA snippets, both of which require Emacs Lisp to operate. Uh, they're both part of a PHP bundle, so I'm starting out with a, a blank file, and I'm going to write a plugin uh, for WordPress. So I do that by typing in the word plugin and hitting tab. The whole uh, skeletal uh, part of my template is filled in. Um, as I type, notice that what happens under namespace, uh, the plugin URL, the class plugin name, etc. So I'm going to fill in, we're going to call this Dynaps Reformed Plugin. And you notice as I type in, the Emacs list portions of the, of the snippet are filling in the URL, creating a namespace acronym for me, and uh, creating the uh, uh, class name, all with slightly different transformations on the uh, name. Now you'll notice as Dynaps Reform Plugin, my namespace is DRP underscore. Well, if I were to use Camel Case, as I actually want to do, Reformed Plugin, then the namespace acronym is now DRFP, which I think is more appropriate. Okay, so the URL and other things remain the same. Now I'll tab through the fields. Uh, we'll add some very important documentation and we'll continue and then it dumps us out ready to create the constructor. Now the second snippet that I want to show is what I'll likely do in the constructor. I'm going to add an action and as I hit tab there I can say okay yeah I want to make it for the uh, init or I want to make it for some other type of thing like template redirect and you notice that the elisp is not filling, there's no need for ELIS for what it's doing now, but once I finish this, then notice that the, the function, my template redirect, got moved outside the scope that I was currently working in, and that did require a little Emacs Lisp. Uh, the explanation and the code for these snippets is on my blog post at gregorygrubs.com.